live. Okay, I'm, we're live. I need you to. Oh. Oh. Yep. Hello. Right. Okay, okay. So our chicken. It should have been 45 minutes now. Um. So we are now just gonna. I'm just gonna pull that out so you can kind of get a nice idea. Um, so it's nice and sizzling, but obviously we would love to have that skin nice and crispy. So what I'm going to do is now turn that up on high grill. I'm going to remove the cover and I'm going to pop that back in and I'm going to grill that. And, but you can see all those juices that have kind of developed now. Um, so that is going to grill for about, let's just keep that on 10 minutes, just in case I go on for a bit too long. So first, I'm going to do a shout out to Anita from Fresh Levant. Hello and thank you, fellow Lebanese food blogger. Um, I think it was shit kicking retard. Very interesting name. Anyway, to answer one of your questions, um, this is the allspice berry. So you can see there, I was using the ground counterpart. Um, and so that is just, a, it's a fruit. And it's um, Jamaican in origin, but we use it around the Middle East, namely in Lebanon, um, where it's really like one of the ultimate spices. And it is, it kind of has the flavors of nutmeg, cinnamon, and also, um, what did I say? Well, yeah, nutmeg and cinnamon. So now what you want to do is look at the ingredients because I know we got a lot of questions on what was being used. So here's a, a picture of, of the actual recipe in the book. What I did use is I kept the chicken. I did not use the fennel bulb today. You could use that, but I did the heritage carrots. I used potatoes. Um, I used garlic but I did I went for the elephant garlic um onions or shallots olive oil some sumac or some ma allspice some bay leaves lemon sea salt um I also added mushrooms today so um, again you can use whatever vegetables you have around what you like you could toss in some green beans they'll cook a bit quicker but that is that so um page 80 of the jeweled kitchen if you don't have it Feel free to buy it. And let me just double check how we're doing. So, see, that's nice and still. Oh, look at that. But I think we could handle a little bit more. So just give it a couple more minutes. So in the interim, I have also made this lovely little salad, which is really just some beautiful leaves that I got from the farmer's market. Um, and then here, what I have is one of my favorite salad dressings. Um, so salad dressings in Lebanon, in the Middle East, are very simple. They're either lemon and olive oil, or uh, husram, which is very juice and olive oil, or in this case, cider and olive oil, which is, and I've put a little bit of uh, dried mint in. Um, and uh, I grew up for a part of my life in the mountains, in Baskinta, and we have loads and loads of apple orchards so we've always had apple cider we've had cider with almost everything i mean my dad would make loads and loads of them so, so we've yeah so i i love apple cider basically um and so that's so that's next so let's see how our chicken is doing because you don't want to forget it in the oven too long it can burn very quickly there we go i think that is perfect it's ready for us to dig in. Lovely and crispy skin. Creamy potatoes, al dente, um, carrots. Voila. That's it. Dig in. And thank you all for joining. Um, hopefully we can do this again, maybe as a cook along. If you have any recipes that you would like to try out, if you have the book and you'd like to do a cook along, maybe we can try that, open to kind of some ideas. And thanks again.